All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So we are following on uh, from last week's video with Ronnie where we were trying to establish the value and merit of the TailMade Mini driver, mm -hmm. whether that one was going to be a good one for you, Ronnie, someone who maybe struggles a bit with the, with the driver. So if you haven't watched last week's, maybe watch that one yeah, first to get a bit more context first. as to what we're really doing today. Mm -hmm. So Ronnie, uh, for, the, for the quick note, is someone who's looking to really improve the driving accuracy. Uh, improve a few things with ball flight. Um, last week we saw some good results with uh, with the mini. It was intri an intriguing, intriguing story. Yeah, yeah it, was, it got our, our interest. Um, we felt like we could have done with more loft. We didn't have the loft with us. We have it today, thanks to the guys at TaylorMade for for dropping off the 13.5 mini head. Mm -hmm. So I think today we're going to establish is Ronnie more of a, a you know draw bias driver. Uh, like a, a ping SF Tech or a, an M6 draw, or, or is the shorter shaft something that you can yeah. square the face with a little more easily? What's the highest lofted driver? Let's take a, a ping SF Tech or M6 draw or something. Or 12 degrees with some face control. Yeah, it goes up to it goes up to 13.5. And so that's the starting position of mini driver, Correct. but technically we can get that to what 15. 15. So 15 you, that might be the the uh, I guess the one advantage from the get go. Correct. A little bit more loft yeah, on that yeah. mini driver. Yeah. Exactly. So between the loft, that, that with the shorter shaft, you know, all those things are sort of going to be favourable, yeah. I think, to what we're trying to do with right. Ronnie. But there was a lot of questions that you guys asked with regards to, well, why wouldn't you just go with a draw bias driver? Yeah. Why wouldn't you? Go, why would you go with a smaller head that that you know would make sense that the MOI would be slightly compromised versus a 460 head? All those are, are relevant points, but. Um, you know, what we saw with Ronnie was instant improvement last yeah. week. Confidence difference, ball yeah. striking difference, mm -hmm. all that stuff uh, that's maybe a little bit more external than just yeah. the spec of the club. And to be fair to that video, that for us was a starting point with mm -hmm. the mini driver where we were trying to establish what it was all about. So yeah. it was more of a review than, than general, t you know, genuine testing. Agreed. Today is much more about testing, um, trying to see if we can get Ronnie dialed in with a head shaft combo. That yeah. It's going to go in the bag, isn't it? I'm excited to see what we, how this unravels. Yeah, absolutely. very curious. For sure. All right. So just in the, you know, view of fairness, let's let's baseline your driver. Yep. We had some numbers last yep. week, but let's let's just establish what's going on. So that's an M2. Yep. 12 degrees. 2017 M2, 12 degrees. Yep. Fujikura speeder. Now a few people were saying, why is Ronnie using a speeder? That shaft's too stiff. It's the 474 yeah, speeder. many speeders, it's, right? it's the soft 50 gram version, okay. so yeah, it's not. So don't comment that again. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the tour version. Right. Uh, that's All right, for Ronnie. sure. Ooh. Oh, Ronnie's been practicing. Good swing. You might have just saved yourself a few bucks. No. Yikes. <laughs> Had a good discussion with my instructor, so we. Oh, did he give you a telling off? Did he? Uh, some some uh, food for thought, some nice, suggestions. Nice. Nice. Yeah, yeah, both both in the fairway, both relatively long for what we've been seeing, isn't it? So that was a bit more of that driver we saw last week, wasn't it? Last week we had a, a, a few that were sneaking out to the right and we were struggling to kind of get that face to catch up. Yeah, it's about as good a driver as we'll see, I think, from, from I think this driver. So. I mean, that's going to catch the, the hot lane from the, the green. Oh my God, who am I? <laughs> Yeah, that was nice. I mean, 131 ball speed is really good. 90 miles an hour club head speed is really speed. good. Yeah. Oh, today's a good day to test. Absolutely. All right. So I think that's good enough to leave that as, as it is. Okay, Ronnie, so really good performance there. Um, I mean, it's fair to say those distances are as good as we've seen ever from you, really. Uh, so that's, that's, that's yes. nice. Mm -hmm. uh, we still have a little bit of a tendency to go out to the right. That would still be the one thing I think we would want to improve is, is can we kind of retain all that ball speed, the good launch today, yeah. uh, a bit more backspin sometimes than we're used to as well. And can we make that a little bit more sort of down the middle mm -hmm. to even touching into a little bit of a draw? 
uh, is, can we square that face a little bit more? So And his very best shot, or two, the two of them that were also, I guess, pretty much as good, but they, to me, looked about 11 launch, 2100 spin. Would mm -hmm. you look to see a bit more launch angle, ideally, for Ron and his ball speed? As much as Ronnie hits up on it, you know, four or five degrees, yes. Yeah, yeah so you want to see we, like 13, can, 14? It'd be lovely. So loft should help with that. Loft would help, and providing it was well struck, it would just lead to more carry distance. Yeah. So Ian, are you also looking at delivered loft as well as the launch or? Delivered loft will, will dictate what right. launch is as long right. as we have the strike point in the right spot. So that's right. the one way. So, um, you know, giving you more static loft is, is our way of, of uh, influencing dynamic loft to, uh, to appear. So we're not really looking for the shaft to, you know, deflect more. We're not, we're not trying to manufacture okay. a, an inconsistent scenario. Like I would always try and take a, uh, a static um, parameter, such as okay. static loft, rather than something dynamic like shaft, okay. which could be one way one day, could be some okay. way the other day. Got it. Okay. So Ronnie's got this in neutral settings to mm -hmm. begin. Um, stock shaft is 43 and a half inches, regular mm -hmm. flex, 60 grams? 55, 55, 55 okay. regular on this guy. Um, we, were, we were debating earlier on whether the driver shaft was a 55 gram that started as 46, and is being cut down by four inches to play. Oh, uh, in terms or, of build, right? Yeah, in terms of the build. So it's interesting, you know, the 55, how relevant is 55? So, right. you know, it's a bit like when you take a 75 gram shaft and put it in a fairway, would it become 65 grams? Gotcha. Because of the amount that you, you're cutting down. So, mm -hmm. um, how does the weight feel, Ronnie? Does the balance of it feel okay relative to your speeder? My perception is that I feel more weight in the handle. Yeah. Oh, in the handle. Interesting. Okay. They're up here. Mm -hmm. huh. Interesting. Okay. But uh, she looks good, uh, 13 yep. to 5, mm -hmm. square like face. Look at looks the loft address, that's good. Okay. Still got that low kind of yeah, it's low flight, isn't it? Amazing how much it knocks spin off. It's a bit of a low strike, to be fair. A little more air under that one, Ronnie, but still not not in the league of, of the your own driver and no. To me that looked like a shot that would have been a push and then the face yeah. angle caught yep. up to it and brought it back left. Yeah. That was that was a little bit of the strike. Mm -hmm. That sounded good, Ronnie. Yeah. Very interesting. Thirteen and a half degrees of loft and a really piercing ball flight, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Those are a, a little low on the club, uh, Ronnie, just a bit. They're, yeah. not, they're not bad strikes, but you're, you're slightly uh, low of center. I feel I'm not getting the peak. The end, it's, uh, the, yeah, the spin and the launch are, are low. Um, yeah, you're, you're about 20 feet shy of where you were with... Uh, it's that much, is it? Yeah, mm. with, with your own one today, Ronnie, okay. which your own one was exceptional today, so um, a perfect day to test it. You, you are still seeing all the benefits of the mini, mm. um, shorter length and so it's slightly easier to draw, but you're definitely not uh, getting enough height on it. I think the better someone's hitting their own driver, the less this will help them. Is yeah. that fair to say? Yeah, the, the less this is a benefit. Like Ronnie's yeah. bringing his own driver closer to that. Mm -hmm. How was that one? A little bit higher. It sounded higher strike, yep. yep. Yeah, it was the, the real kind of knuckleball flight, that one, Ronnie. That was, uh, launch will be up, but spin will be way down. Yeah, yeah. which it is, ball speed yep. down too. So you kind of get the, the little scooter out of that one. I mean, no matter where we're playing, 40 yards of runs. Not happening. It's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> not happening on this continent anyway. Maybe where you're from, but not here. Yeah, exactly. Because you want, you want him to be striking this better. If, if it's going to be inconsistent, yeah. you start to wonder if it's really a benefit because the head is not very big. Mm -hmm. And I think the low strikes, the spin was low, but the launch mm -hmm. was super, super low. Yeah. And then the high strike just had no spin on it at all. Yep. Yep, for sure. Okay, let's hit a couple more yeah. with this one and then uh, grab something else for you. Good swing, Ronnie. Really can tell how much easier it is for you to square that up. I kind of thought you pushed it at first and it just drew back. That's really the second nicely. time I thought I was going right yeah. and then she kind of 
I thought it was going to go gear back way. left. That's just interesting. I agree with you. It does a good job at that, but you're not you're not picking up. Well, I shouldn't say you're not picking up. You're not equalizing your ball speed with your driver like you were last time. So you're hitting your driver a little bit better. Sounded nice as well, Ronnie. Just, just little, drifted. Yeah. Sounded well hit. <clears throat> Doesn't have enough uh, backspin on it. That's the thing. That's I'm surprised. I honestly thought as soon as you got 13 and a half um, head for Ron, I thought it would really drastically change. Yeah. It's just not enough, is it? No. no. So all three of us speculated all Ronnie needed was yeah, more loft, was loft. And this validates why we need to test. Yep. Why we need to test. <clears throat> the big thing that's going on <clears throat> here today, though, is you're hitting your own driver so much better. Mm -hmm. So right. I think, you know, versus last week, we were, you know, going right all the time. The, I think if we were to, to put the, the mini driver against the driver last week, we, we would maybe make a more of an assumption right. that's true. Uh, that, that it's really quite good. But today, you started off, came out really good with your own driver. Mm -hmm. So right. it's you hard got, to you say. You got more to trade off this week. I think last week the, the improved dispersion was so much, you know, so much of an improvement yeah. that you would forgive mm -hmm. the, the fact that the spin is way too low. But now yeah. you don't want to forgive that so much. Well, so the sacrifice based on what we see there is a, it's two and a half miles in our ball speed. It's a degree of loft. Um, higher, right? Higher. Which is well, good. yeah, those last couple were much higher. There's spin There's sacrifice. No spin. So, you know, mm. the trade-off today is, is not... It's not enough. Not enough. No. It's not enough. Your own driver, actually, today is, is, is looking, oh. looking quite good. Yeah. Hold okay. faithful. So we're getting into now a little bit... Well, this is a traditional length driver you're going to put Ron into. 45-inch uh, playing length. Yep. Some slightly different head characteristics um, with the G410. Right. So G410 plus, you've got it set 12 degrees, set to... Neutral, or have you a um, little bit closed? So a little bit closed, so it's probably playing about 12.75 or however they do that. So this one's playing 13. 13. Right now. Gotcha. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm really excited that you put the pink 410 because I've been very yeah, keen to try that. Keen one. to try mm -hmm. low CG, yep. uh, down and back, launch, spin. Yeah. It would be the one that probably would most naturally fit the bill right. here. Uh, you know, that's. If you were going to sort of prescribe one for you to go buy, you know, yeah. if you're going to go to buy at the store and buy right. one, you'd probably go go grab a G410. That'd be right. that'd be nice. Good, because G400 Max would have been the choice last year, but yeah. now you can adjust this quite a bit better. And the loft is up more because Max went to 10.5. Oh, and, they didn't have a 12. Yeah, didn't have a 12. Okay, that's big. Ooh. That was exactly the yeah. flight we've been waiting on. That's got lift on it. Like really does. Some hang time, didn't it? Yep, proper, proper uh, spin on that one. That felt like a proper Ooh, hit. Ooh, Ronnie, it was. I, that's the most I've ever seen you spin a drive. And, and also important to say a really good golf swing. You made a really good swing there. 89 miles an hour, 130 ball speed. Yeah. 15 launch. Can I ask what the peak was just out of a curiosity? You, of course, can. Uh, it was 92, 92 feet. feet. I mean, that's high for you, Ronnie. Like, almost to the point where it's like, okay, we can nudge that down a little bit. <laughs> I've never even come close yeah. to... That ball flight looked great. Barely moved a, a yard, didn't I it? I know. It's another Swing, one. Swing, Ronnie. Maybe just a fraction open and that's why it didn't mm -hmm. carry as far but that's really good are we already asking the question can he can he bring his uh his launch and spin down a bit we certainly would be huh that's amazing <clears throat> we certainly would be what kind of a cg location difference are we talking about between i know it would be ridiculous to make you guess mm. millimeters but <laughs> is it we're talking about about as much difference as possible between that mini driver and that g410 like those two clubs are massively separated. Be very, very different. Just yeah. because of the, the depth of the head. It's like twice the, twice the yeah. face to back, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're talking about a, a deep low 460 CG driver versus uh, a kind of you know, mini driver head where the CG is way closer to the face. It's like the loft versus CG location video we did last year. That's right. That's that right. Was, it was, this is even more extreme than that, isn't it? Very much. I 
I would like to throw a different golf ball in the mix here. Try and sure. throw there and down uh, something that might okay. be a bit okay. quicker. Before you more. do that, let's let's talk about that really quick. Okay. Before um, you do that, it's not bad, Ronnie. So, a couple swings in. Obviously, you made a drastic difference. Mm. That one probably wasn't your best strike, Ronnie. Your ball speed was down a little bit. Um, is he at a point where he could afford to launch the ball a little bit lower, maybe a hair less spin? No question. Yeah. No question. I'm going to take that first one was a bit of a miss, but yeah. other than that, uh, if we are comparing the three, um, the three really is just compared to. So yeah, the many is is no longer really part of the the plan. So we're finally for the first time now, Ronnie. Here's a scenario, right, where you've got the exact same carry number. You've mm. got a, a, a golf in height. We know that you never really suffer from hitting it too high, mm. ever. Never. Never. So if all things are equal, we'll go with the high one yeah. because we build you protection against the, the low scooters at that point. So at times when you get the, the ball going out for, you know, too low, well, we might end up at the blue trajectory if we start at the orange trajectory, if that makes sense. It protects right. them against the hook shot that has no yeah, spin that, on it. That, that builds in your, your yeah. window of tolerance into your ball flight. And relative to that ball speed, I know that launch, you will probably say, is a bit high, but isn't 2,700 spin a pretty good window anyway? Yeah, around quite, 130 quite good. Ball speed? Really quite good. I mean, all things, all things can be measured here. We are seeing some big, big results. So gotcha. a couple of different things that we, we might try to do here is mm -hmm. uh, we, we might try to put a little more weight in the heel. Mm -hmm. We might try and get the face to close a little bit more. Okay. Uh, we, we're going to actually look at another golf ball for you, Ronnie. Mm -hmm. um, see if we can't get that, that ball speed up a little bit. How are you warming back into a normal length? Because the question we're going to get quite a bit is, Ronnie told us he won 43 and a half. Now he's gone back away from 43 and a half. He's at 45. But your dispersion's actually better, and you're swinging better with more length. Are you, are you finding you're less kind of hesitant with that now? I feel very comfortable with this shaft. Interesting. That head, and I know it's a high MOI head, it just reeks of confidence, yeah. and I've got some forgiveness, so. Because um, the shaft length thing is, it's a bit of a band-aid, isn't it? Like people say, I'm not hitting my driver well, just cut it down. Mm -hmm. I did it years ago. Mm -hmm. I did the exact same thing. I cut it down. I was like, oh, just like, God help me find a fairway kind of thing. If something's fitted properly, and I know I asked you this a million times, yeah. most of your fittings, people leave with the 45 because it's been dialed in properly otherwise, so yeah. that a length is not beneficial to go lower. For sure. For sure. I mean, the, the length being that much shorter is kind of you conceding that a driver doesn't just work. Just can't do it. Yeah. 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 Gotcha. A driver just does not work. I hear you. Different. Interesting. Definitely a lower, uh, lower spinning trajectory on that one. Okay, Ronnie. Yeah, you'll like that one. It's nice. It's a lot more square of club face, mm -hmm. obviously. That's sounded better. That's though. really nice. Looks flatter, but it doesn't look low, too low spin wow. to me. That, like was, that was legit. I mean, there was no kind of runner go. from the green there. Wow. What, 217? Ball speed's up. So this is the one that seems to be giving us that, that like we talked about, it's giving us the high launch, low spin combo. Mm. 80 feet, I mean, I wouldn't need you more than 80 feet, Ronnie. That's, to me, that's your window. Yeah. 75 to 85 feet that's a is good range. perfect, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we go back always to that number, Matty, remember the six iron number. Um, and, and, and yeah, you try the, to match it. What the player swing six iron is, is a good indication of where the apex should be. Ronnie with, oh, okay. his, uh, with his six iron is, is right around seven to eight miles an hour. Gotcha. Perfect. So I'm feeling significantly more forgiveness on the ping versus the M2. Yeah. Mm, good. Uh, significantly. Which makes sense, right? Yep. Oh, Ronnie. This sounds good, doesn't it? It sounds really like does. he's giving it the beans here. Completely different looking flight. Some heat to it. Good. Okay, so ball speed was quite good there. 130 again. 
Launched a bit lower, spun it. It's just slightly lower in the head, I guess, Ronnie, but otherwise, a really, really good shot. So, since you adjusted it and switched balls, there's really nothing, nothing much to say that's negative. The ball no. speed is good again, which mm -hmm. I don't think you were expecting to jump huge in ball speed, but he did have one up at almost 132. But that launch and spin are definitely going to give him some more yardage. Well, there's, there's something that's very interesting at play here. And, and so many people watch and will, will be saying this in their own minds right now. Why would he change when there's the only three yards of a carry difference? Right, right. There's internal feelings and, and sort of confidence that's given or that you get from a product that works a certain way. Mm -hmm. Would you would you sort of look at those numbers and say, well, not enough of a difference, I would leave it alone? Or would you, Ronnie, say, yeah, I feel that much more confident with this. Uh, I can hit it a bit higher, you know, et cetera, et cetera, that this would be worth the purchase. It would definitely be worth the purchase. Uh, and most people would say you're crazy. Yeah, part of it is, and this yeah. is the, um, the emotional side, psychological side. Mm -hmm. The M2 has had a spotty history. <laughs> you got bad um, memories with it, right? And there's yeah. there's some baggage there. Yeah. So I'm just wondering if I start on you that. Yeah. Uh, but to answer your question, I definitely would consider it. Yeah. The numbers would suggest, but I really want my ball to go up higher. I just yeah. feel like I'm a proper golfer if I get the ball. Yeah, and there's, there's no doubt that's made a huge difference in the in the height of it. I think the dispersion was also a lot more consistent. You didn't hit any shots right of, really right of the green with that ping, which is that's a pretty big accomplishment. No, there was there was there was no negatives really to that. There, everything that we really wanted to happen, kind of happened. Um, decoupling the the launch and spin. So, with your M2, you got lower launch, lower spin. The first time we tried G410, high launch, high spin, mm -hmm. and then we were able to sort of separate them and keep the launch up, but bring the spin down. So now we're really looking at, okay, can we, can we keep the, maybe even keep the launch fractionally higher through less face rotation? So right. rather than having the weight in the heel, Matty, we're gonna go back to the middle. Ronnie said he felt like he, he could maybe feel the head rotate a little uh, bit aggressively gotcha. on this one. How was that strike, Ronnie? That felt pretty, pretty Same. good. good. Mm -hmm. See, it's a real consistency. I really? mean, real consistency yeah. from, from your driver right now. It's really solid. I mean, it wasn't that, it was more of just a pull, wasn't just it? Just a bit pulley. Yes, yeah, it was the start it. line more than the curvature. Yeah, good point. It was just a little mm. bit side angle. Try. Yeah, if you look at you know the start line and the fall <coughs> line, we so just if we could have just tilted those a little bit more to the right, we would have been great with that one. Right. Two ten on the fly, one thirty two ball speed, That's fastest good. we've ever seen. And again, about twelve twenty two is mm -hmm. even if for a bit of a pull, really good numbers. Good. Oh, that sounded really good, Ronnie. We have a carry on that two twenty. <coughs> I love that that never hit the green because some of those you know long ones are yep. are kind of running through the green but that's just really good 220 on the fly that's really good a little toy one but look at that yeah, it's hammered. really get away with that it's hammered Maddie that's same thing it looked it was going right and then she yeah. bought, she well, came and that's back what in. you want you don't want to have to make your very best swing if you hit one that's a little scuffy on the course and you pipe it down the middle you know 235 or something you'll be really happy with that 245 sorry um, do you want to hit a couple of that Mizuno ball just to sure. finish with just so we sure, can yeah. uh, sure and, and Ian difference. we haven't talked a little bit about about the shaft uh, is this comparable to my speeder or better position for the head soft or? Uh, sorry a, a little lighter Lighter? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. This is a 40, uh, 40 gram shaft. Your speeder is a 50 gram shaft. So uh, a little bit lighter for you, trying to just get a little bit more sort of energy uh, running through the shaft okay. down the, the energy chain. Okay, Ronnie. So you, the last probably s maybe 10 shots or so been with Pro V1X. Yeah. Um, you were curious about that one from the Golf, the golf by test uh, about how well it performed for lower swing speeds. Right. You're at 90-ish miles an hour. That was a test at 85, right. so very relevant for you. Mm -hmm. It worked well for you. It, it really worked work well. well. So, 
Um, let's test it. You had also had Mizu uh, interest in the Mizuno golf ball. And that was more of an iron spin because we know driver deviation isn't too high. Um, ball to ball, it's not, it's not, there's not a mass amount in it. But wedge to wedge, iron to iron mm. is, is much, much higher. Yeah. That good sounded swing, really man. good. Nice. Obviously, before the numbers pop up, higher spin. Think so? Yeah. yeah. And it higher. hung there, didn't it? It's, it hung at its apex for, for, for a yep. good yeah, bit good more. Call. So, call. Is that yeah. okay for on though? 24, 24, 4, 9. It's great. Yeah. It's really, really good. I think you struck that one really well, which obviously helps. But a little bit more spin on the drive is it's probably to his benefit for the most mm. part. 87 feet, Ronnie. So fair to say that ball would need testing with irons and wedges, obviously, but that's a ball that, that Ronnie would be worth testing for a ball fit. It, it would be for sure. I mean, look at that right there. So yeah. um, launch is similar, speed is similar, a separation of about 500 RPM. Didn't really influence the, the result, but no. you can see slightly, it reached a, a slightly <coughs> higher apex and it dropped a little bit quicker, yep. whereas the, the more arcing kind of trajectory of the Pro V1X. Just a bit flatter. A little bit flatter. But that's cool because it's two firm X balls that mm. have both worked really well for Ron, who's yep. kind of in the 90 mile per hour. So that's, I would say that's a, a new theory that's definitely plausible. Yeah. Almost confirmed at this point, isn't it? For sure. So you're suggesting ball testing, irons in wedge will break the tie? Is uh, that your thinking? Would, it would have to, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, you know, both of those are, are okay. Uh, it would just be what, what gives you kind of better performance mm -hmm. um, further in, into the short clubs. Really uh, guys, hopefully you can see part of the process as to how we do this. Obviously breaking down two sort of half hour sessions with Ronnie, um, this is more like what a full session would look like. For we're, sure. We're able to run through heads and shafts and specs and lofts and you know, really running through preferences. And now obviously uh, another dimension is added with the golf ball. Definitely. Uh, that's, that's something that is really uh, uh, a value add to any uh, fitting session. I mean, it just it just goes back to showing, and it, you know, it's exactly how I started out. But looking at being fit with a range ball now, mm -hmm. you can't. You can't do it. You can't. Do it. <laughs> no, it's so can't. true. It's it's it, it, it. To be honest, it sucks to say because yeah. I hate the fact that it, it that will make the process more limited for people. Mm -hmm. Because obviously, a real golf ball, you're not hammering Pro V ones into a range and hoping the range kid brings them back. I get That's it. What it is. But it, it's tough to get a proper fit because Ron's ball mm -hmm. flight is completely different with different golf balls. And a range ball yeah. is not going to perform like a Pro V1. You isn't. have to be very selective about um, making sure th all those, those variables. Because how many scenarios would there be where, where somebody would look at that? Okay, so say there's three golf balls in the pile and, mm -hmm. and every different swing gets a different golf ball. Yeah. Would a fitter or a player go, ah, that shaft spins a little, doesn't yeah, it? That would. head spins a little bit. It's true. And, and those, are, those are enough uh, of a, a variance for us to sort of wonder what's causing it. So trying That's to control the, the amount of variables such as golf ball, guys, is so important. Absolutely. No, this Excellent. was a good session. Yeah, yeah. Hope you enjoyed that. Please leave your comments. Let us know how, you know, if Ronnie's sort of journey here is something that you feel would benefit for yourself. And, uh, obviously, some, ask us some questions with Absolutely. regards to how you guys can do that. Yeah. Uh, all starts with finding, uh, obviously, a good fitting center with, with good quality equipment, um, understand the variables, good launch monitor technology, all those things. If, if you find all those things in one place, yep. you, you'll probably be on your way towards getting uh, into a similar driver that performs like Ronnie. So awesome. uh, it's all good. Excellent. Guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.